What's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I am going to take you on the all new 2025 Vibe 2600 RK. This is going to be a pretty classic rear kitchen travel trailer that just about all of the major players have a variation of this. But I think with the new 2025 changes, the new decor, I think Vibe really, really crushed it. I mean, I think the exterior looks really nice, looks really sharp. You got kind of the, the tri-level decor kind of breaking things up a bit. And then on the interior, they also got a completely new, um, you know, kind of a makeover for it. We're gonna start ourselves on the inside, work our way around the outside. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description, along with a link uh, for the pricing and locations where you can go, you know, potentially go take a look at this thing. But again, it's the 2025 Vibe 2600 RK. And right when you walk in, I just think this looks super sharp. Now, one thing that, uh, you know, might seem minor, but I think it's one of those minor kind of major things is they switched up the dinette. You'll notice the dinette's not looking like a classic kind of boxed in one. They actually have this ottoman that can be moved over for extra sleeping. But now this kind of gives you a little bit of a desk space, a little bit of a kind of a more open, more roomy feel to it. So I'm a big fan of that. Big open windows, you know, so that way you can catch a good breeze, possibly a good view from wherever that you're camping. Emergency exit. You also have the blinds that'll drop down here um, as well. So you can just kind of pull those down. I think those are pretty highfalutin. I think they're looking nice. Emergency exit over here, pull, push and plop two recliners, pull out sofa. And then right here is also a different look to it. I just think this looks really sharp here up in the front. You got your fireplace that's kind of built into this little area where you're going to see a little bit of extra storage, you know, a great place to put some books. You have a TV on a swivel. It's the insignia. Looks like about a 45 or 50 inch. You're also going to get the accent lighting there up top, which just kind of breaks up the monotony, you know, of the camper. But I like how the backdrop is all kind of blacked out there. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. By the way, that fireplace will heat up the entirety of this room. Absolutely no problem. Two of your rocking chairs that you can, you know, move independently. So if you want a better view of the TV, if you got your grandkids sitting over on the pullout sofa, uh, you are able to do that. You'll notice every window does open up for a breeze. And this little ottoman here as well, you know, if you're sitting down, you can lift this up and you can plop it just like that. So again, you have a nice little working desk area, maybe a place just to have a little, you know, bite, something like that. And then you can schmooze it on away. You got storage underneath. I mean, heck, that's even on a soft close. That was pretty neat. And then boom, now you got a place where you can, you know, possibly prop your feet up. Say hello to sandal season, baby, the old Midwest boot. So now in the back, really nice functional kitchen area. I think this is a home run decor wise. It is light, it's dark, it's kind of tan, you know, or gray. I don't even know what the heck to call it, but it just works. A ton of countertop space. And this is all going to be that kind of uh, plastic that kind of heats onto it and adheres. So that way you don't have any seams. You're not letting water in. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. The stainless steel undermounted bowl with that charcoal finish. And I love the kind of the bronze look here too, to your high rise faucet. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hitting those dishes from all angles, excuse me. You also have a little convection uh, microwave oven combo here too, and it looks like a really nice one. I haven't seen one like that before, um, so I might have to check that out. But three-in-one grill convection uh, microwave combo with the three stovetop burner uh, there as well. And again, the windows, absolutely massive. Even the lighting back here looks pretty darn sharp. But I mean, imagine putting in, you know, cure eggs, blenders, you know, whatever it is that you want. Pull out drawers storage a little bit more storage here below and then of course access to your plumbing and a place where you can put you know all of your um you know i don't know cleaning splash getting a little bit short for words been talking all day i'm down at this 2025 uh dealer sneak peek where they have about 80 units set up you know for myself dealers you know other people making videos so there's gonna be a lot of great 25 content i'm trying to knock out about 50 of them this trip i think that'd be pretty darn nice 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. So this will run off the solar up top, uh, your truck when you're driving down the road, your battery, you know, all of that good stuff. You're also going to notice you have the fuse box and then that is going to be, you know, where you can release your heat because you don't have uh, any floor vents. So you folks that don't like the floor vents, 
you are good to go. As far as height is concerned, which actually I got a new toy. So this is the new Insta360 gimbal. Watch this. One, two, three clicks. Boom, baby. Look at that. <laughs> Getting fancy. Uh, you're probably looking at five, nine-ish or so. So just right up to your ear. But when you're going to sit down, uh, you know, it really doesn't, you know, get in your way. The table also can be shifted around and moved around to whatever is, you know, most suited for you. Right next to the refrigerator, you are going to have a pantry. So I know a lot of you guys are going to love that. No doubt about it. Great place to put all your dry food storage. You also have some access uh, for some maintenance, you know, there as well. But is this a floor plan you guys could see yourself, you know, traveling in? I mean, this is definitely going to be a higher end travel trailer, better construction, better insulation, you know, fully walkable roof, massive slide here. I mean, just in general, a nicer brand of camper. You're also going to have a 15 KAC uh, with the drop zone over here, which is not, you know, anything, you know, exclusive to them by any means. Uh, but it's nice to know if you're in the bedroom, if you want extra air, you know, into here, if you're, I'm sorry, if you're not going to be in the bedroom for a while, extra air. We'll just open it up and selfishly hog and cool down this room. Otherwise, they'll just run through uh, the track system, you know, and get you going. Right here's where you control uh, your zone for the heat and AC. You also have your control right here. So you got your tank heaters going back to a little bit of a better build. That's going to be a 12 volt pad that pops on uh, to your tanks. So that way you can camp a little bit later or you know earlier in the season. And then where you check all your tank fills. Of course, you got your slide out control uh, for you know right to there. Uh, notice too, even on, you know, kind of travel mode, when that's closed up, you still have a really easy path just straight into your bathroom. So you don't have to worry, you know, about that at all. Bathroom size is definitely not an issue. I'm a little bit of a rounder guy, so I definitely appreciate a more friendly, you know, bathroom. This is a, this is a toilet where you can sit down and, you know, kind of do stuff as normal. You don't have to kind of, you know, lean one way or anything. There's also going to have you know, the two mirrors there, which are always nice for the bowling guns. Look at that. Someone left a little fast twitch Gatorade. Energy drink Gatorade. If you see this, send me a 20 spot. That'd be pretty cool. You also got your uh, stainless steel bowl again with that same kind of matching bronze finish there, along with an outlet for pullouts. The bottom two are going actually going to be twice as large. And then you have access to your plumbing right here as well. You're also going to get a tankless on demand hot water heater. So it's going to be, uh, you know, a much better system. Uh, as long as you have propane, you have instant hot water that heats up in a hurry. Now I am six feet tall, 300 pounds. Let me whip this back around again. Boom. And you can see I'm fitting into this just fine. You're probably looking at about six foot to here, six, four into here, but you got enough room definitely for one. You also have got the Little privacy shade so when you're showering you don't have to worry about any uh, nosy eyes unless you want to I suppose. You also got a little place for a TP ski holder. I'm loving this new gimbal. This thing's pretty darn sweet. You can also rotate it 360 degrees around. If any of you guys care to see. Taking you around town baby. <laughs> pretty darn neat. So you're also going to see you got those two uh, little lights right there. That's going to be coming off your night light. They are articulating, so that way you can kind of move them around how you please. On both sides, over here and over here, you got that little nook with the outlets, so that way you can plug in all your stuff, rock a CPAP, you know, who knows, maybe plug in like a little alarm clock or something. I don't know why I said that. Most people aren't using those. I sure as heck am not. Uh, you do have a hanging area right here, soft close. I also like how they went away with the cabinet. I'm not sure what that's made of. I'm going to have to ask the rep. It does feel like a wood, but also kind of looks not necessarily like a wood, maybe like a high-end plastic or something. Uh, another window over here. Obviously, another one over here, which is going to be an emergency exit. So pull, push, and plop. You can get yourself out in a hurry. You also have an area for a TV backer, and then you're pre-wired for your Wi-Fi, so that way you can get a little home away from home, along with all the outlets um, for the... Well, the darn gimbal just died, so we're doing this by hand. So let me plug that off. So right here is going to be your closet and you're going to have washer and dryer prep, but you're also going to get little hanging racks right here. So if you're not putting a washer and dryer in, or if you put a combo, uh, you do have the ability uh, to do that. But this is what this thing looks like. I got the piece down at the bottom here up top. I guess I didn't charge it 
Um, but that's okay. I'll charge it up here after this video. So hopefully it doesn't. Sorry for the shakies. I'm trying to keep my arm as straight as possible here. But drop a comment. Let me know what you think here of the inside. I think the uh, 25, I think the Vibe team is killing it like they do. They're one of the more trusted brands, you know, from myself. They've been around for a really long time. I personally have a ton of experience with them. I did sell them for, you know, six years. It's one of those kind of more feel-good brands. You're also going to get power stabilizers. Uh, this is the new look here on the exterior. Let me know what you think about that. And right here is also the new Forest River logo, which I think looks pretty sharp. I think on a hat, like a green hat with the white logo, sort of like kind of like Masters-ish, I think that would look really sharp. Molded front fiberglass cap with the soft kilo kind of ember uh, lighting along with a rock guard, two propane tanks, and then your power tongue jack along with a battery disconnect and a place where you can put up to two batteries. And again, heated and enclosed underbelly, LP quick connect if you want to hook up a grill will be located right there and then lift this up you have magnetic latches and that's going to be your pass through storage where you see aluminum frame construction you're ready to rock it's also got the linoleum there which I think is a nice finish and then you have your kind of square European style windows that are again all tinted and then you have your bigger wow that's actually bigger than I thought that looks like a 400 watt solar panel up top I'll definitely put that down in the description though just so I'm not misspeaking to you but then no slides on this awning or on this side. So that way you can use the awning to its maximum ability without having a slide kind of hog up your space. The solid entry steps that flip up into the doorway with a screen assist uh, right there. So it'll kind of close itself once you get it moving. You know, kind of makes it a little bit easier if you have like groceries carrying that in or something. Um, extra large grab handle, dual axle. Looks like you're rocking with the, uh, the old ST uh, radials, the old Hancocks, Hancooks. Exterior refrigerator, which you can probably fit in, probably about a 24 rack of apple juice in that bad boy, no problem. And then a metal shelf down here. So I like that because you can put maybe some of your pots and pans from cooking as opposed to, you know, kind of cleaning everything. Throw it in there for a little bit, you know, for the next day, night, or meal. Uh, cable hookup along with your outlets. And then I think I said it before, but power stabilizing jacks. So just click extend and retract. And these are the PSX1s. Uh, so they're definitely going to be a little bit bulkier there. You have the bumper with the spare tire along with rear observation camera prep. That's going to be that little black box. So that way you can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers. You also have the Lippert on the go ladder system prep. So about $300 on Lippert's website. You buy a ladder so you can get on top of your roof, you know, check your seal, check your slide, and you are ready to rock. Spare tire just in case you need it. Right here is going to be where you plug in uh, the unit. This one's got 50 amp. I believe you can also order it in a... Uh, 30 amp as well if you only want you know the um, one ac which you know most people don't most people probably get it in the 50 amps for the ability to get the second ac but who knows how you want it on demand tankless hot water heater as we mentioned uh, there inside right there's going to be one of your dumps uh, you are able to put a slide topper on this too it's not prepped for it uh, but basically a slide topper if you're not familiar if you're new to camping is going to be a piece of awning, a piece of canvas that goes from here to here, and it prevents debris from falling on top of your unit. Here's going to be your other dump along with the valve right there, and then this is going to be the back end of that pass-through storage. So you have your docking station. That's where that kind of that little cutout is, that little L shape in there. So you have, you know, hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower. You got all your tank fills, tank flush your 30 amp solar charge controller so you can see what kind of power the sun's bringing to you as far as charging up your battery. And then you get a couple more outlets and then a winterization bypass um, as well. But all right guys, I think that about wraps it up. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Again, this is the 2025 Vibe 2600 RK, the rear kitchen travel trailer. My name is Hunter, have a great day. See you. <laughs> Do 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 do